Hey, I'm sure I'm just a brief intro about myself. Uh, I'm a BizApps MVP. Uh, I got it uh, last year, July. Uh, the thing is, these are my uh, socials, my website, uh, my YouTube. Uh, I also post uh, videos. And also, this is my uh, uh, GitHub. Uh, yeah. Uh, just uh, to start off, I just a brief introduction about uh, this. This is the Power Platform AI Assistant Toolbox. Uh, this is inspired by the XRM Toolbox. Uh, and then here, the only difference is you don't have to write code. Uh, we have to write prompts for it. So uh, this provides AI Assistant tools for assist developers and you know not only developers, uh, testing requirements, the whole uh, you know gamut of this software development lifecycle. So this is basically under the hood. It's a Canvas app uh, which uses AI Builder and the prompts. Uh, to interact uh, with the GPT. So currently it has 18 assistant tools. Uh, you know, the users can extend this, uh, the toolbox by adding their own tools. I'll just uh, quickly show you that. Uh, and this can also be combined with the copilots or agents, whatever you call, uh, provided uh, by uh, Microsoft. Okay. Uh, so how are we doing on time, uh, David, so that I can be really quick. We have 10 minutes. I just yeah, you've got you got plenty of time. You got about 10, 12 minutes. Absolutely, take it away. Yeah, so I'll just start with the requirements. So uh, there are a few assistants, uh, uh, you know, which will be helping the requirement space. Uh, to start off, uh, as the data model assistant, what you can do is, let's say you're new uh, to the uh, domain or the industry, you can just go ahead and uh, you know uh, get the data model at least to start off to start the discussions and this goes hand in hand with the user story assistant so what you can do is you can actually if you are new to uh, any uh, requirement uh, workshops so you can just what are typical requirements uh, you know uh, your let's say example uh, membership crm so uh, you know uh, that's where a user story assistant comes into play so once you are generated the data model uh, uh, you know, using the assistant, you can just go to the copilot in Power Apps and that's, uh, you know, and then create the uh, data model. This is just more start with the prototype. Things will change. So, uh, you know, at least you can get a feel of, uh, you know, during the early, uh, uh, you know, requirements itself, what, uh, you know, uh, the client will be clearly know what, what, what will it look like? What will be the, you know, uh, the final app look like? So, I'll just get started. I'll start. Go here. Yeah. So this is uh, to start with. Uh, this is the uh, uh, you know the assistant toolbox. So uh, at least I'll just quickly go through the UI. So you have uh, a, a, you know toolbar. You can just type in. Let's I'll start with user story assistant. Once I type it, uh, these are the uh, uh, conversation starters you see in uh, you know Microsoft 360 Copilot. This is just a sample one, so so the, uh, you know you don't stare at the blank screen. So what I'll do, I'll start with this one. I'll say generate 10 user stories for a membership CRM system. Let's say I'm a requirement workshop uh, where you need to build a membership CRM. So I can ask uh, you know uh, this toolbox to give me a set of requirements uh, for a membership uh, CRM system. Here I'm asking it to give it like 10 uh, user stories for uh, this requirement. It takes a few seconds. So there you go. Uh, you have a user story uh, and you have the acceptance criteria uh, for that user story. Uh, same thing, it just goes on uh, for 10 user stories, right? Um, that's one. Um, the next one I'm just going to show is the data model assistant. Um, here I'm asking, uh, give me a data model uh, and a ERD for a dealer management system. So this is just a sample. I mean, this is just gives you pointers. Like you can ask, I can just say, uh, give, a, give me a data model ERD for a membership CRM, right? So this gives me the, uh, you know, the tables and what kind of tables you can have. So what I can do, uh, I can just now copy that uh, and go to here, uh, my Power Apps Copilot, paste it here and hit generate. So the, what this is gonna go, uh, uh, go and do is it's just gonna uh, create these tables for me. So I'm not gonna wait for it. So uh, for sake of time, I'll just move on. So that's how you can actually combine uh, both uh, the Power Platform AI toolbox with the existing co-pilots. So, okay. The next one, okay. Yeah, so what I'll do uh, next is I'll just uh, switch to the uh, uh, design. Um, 
copilots. So this is where what are the copilots you can use it in the design phase. The thing is, there's something called architect assistant created. So what it can, what it can do is it can create sequence diagrams, it can create use case diagrams, uh, system context diagrams, as well as the ERD. Uh, for the ERD, you can use the data model assistant I just uh, showed you. So I can let me quickly go here. A second. Yeah, so this is what uh, created the data model. I think you saw a few seconds back. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go to the architect assistant. So let me go here. So uh, so here I'm the assistant. If you see a sample prompts, uh, the concept you can see uh, it wants to create a sequence diagram and as well as the use case diagram for sales system and a system contact channel for the sales system. I'm just going to say go ahead and uh, you know uh, you know show me those diagrams. So this diagrams will be uh, you know in the plant UML format. So what you can do is you can, I can just go ahead, I'll just show you one of those. I can go ahead and copy those. Um, I am going to the plant UML um, online editor. I can just copy and paste it. And this is actually gonna uh, generate uh, your uh, diagram here. So so this you can actually use it in up your, uh, you know, uh, design documents or architecture documents so on and so forth. So. Just moving on, uh, this is what I just talked about the uh, design. So how can you use it for testing? So I'll just quickly run through the testing. Oh, no, I just went to one step further. Uh, yeah, the next one is the development one. Um, here I can assist you uh, in creating plugins, uh, workflows, uh, you know, uh, in a liquid code, and it can also assist you in creating uh, PCF controls uh, and generate uh, fetch XML. Uh, you know, uh, as well as uh, pitch XML, you can convert to a, a query expression uh, in C sharp or a O data expression in C sharp. So I'll just quickly uh, go through that. Let me go back. So let me start with the PCF controls assistant. Uh, I just uh, given um, you know a few samples. I'll just say uh, I'll just remove the other two. So I can uh, say piece of control example for a color label. I'll quickly run that. Just a few seconds. Yeah, there you go. It shows the detailed steps and gives you the code for for that. Next is the plugins. So yeah. So this is just gives me a sample for a a custom workflow uh, as well as a plugin both. So. Uh, you can actually, uh, you know, change uh, change this according to your requirements. I'm just saying, uh, you know, on creation of an account, set the name of account to control, so blah, blah. So here, if you see, uh, it shows a custom workflow code as well as the uh, Dataverse plugin in C Sharp. So those, uh, those are two things. And then I'm just moving on to the Fetch XML assistance. Fetch XML. So I can just say natural language. Let's say I'm get doing fetch XML for get full name, last name from contact. This is going to give me the fetch XML for that. Yeah, this will fetch XML, and uh, you can use it uh, to query expression. So I already have a fetch XML, but I want to write uh, C sharp code. Uh, you know, uh, for this uh, using query expression, uh, it actually generates the C sharp code. And the last but not the least is the O data. <laughs> So for XML, you're converting to an OData format. Uh, you can just get the equivalent OData expression. So that's about development. Uh, I'll just quickly run through the testing tools. <clears throat> Here uh, we have like uh, three instances. One is uh, it can create test cases for you. And you can also uh, create, if you have a test case, you can create a code for you for easy repro. And also, if you have test cases for REST APIs, uh, you can from the test case, it can create a REST API, uh, you know, automation code for you. Let me quickly go there. So this is the test case. I'm just saying, uh, I, you know, I'm going to use a story. Uh, based on that, it's it's going to actually. Uh, create a test case. So it gives a few seconds. So here are your uh, test cases, and this is the user story. <clears throat> and also, let's see, um, say, 
a REST API, Automation Assistant. So, so he, uh, once you give the test case for your REST API uh, endpoint, it's going to give uh, the automation code for it. So this is using REST Sharp. It gives going to give that. And the last uh, is the Easy Web Pro one. Oh, so there's some issue. That's fine. Uh, is a repro. Um, let's uh, pick this one. Take it some easy. Um, yeah, there's an issue. Yeah, well, demo goats are not happy. Yeah, so anyway, so th those are the ones uh, I just want to uh, touch upon. The last one, but not the least, uh, as I told you earlier, I mean, these are the tools I have created, but uh, you know, uh, you can extend it. Uh, you know, with your own tools. All you have to do is we have a Dataverse table called assistance, and then you can go ahead and, uh, you know, add a row in the table. So for example, this is architect assistant. So you give your conversation starters, your prompt uh, description, and, uh, you know, so on and so forth. So what happens is this one picks it up, uh, you know, and then, uh, you know, generates uh, based on your prompt uh, prompt as well as your any whatever you put in your conversation status so this is the github uh, uh, url for it um, yeah you can just go ahead if you want to play with this uh, you can go ahead and uh, you know download this tool and if you want to share uh, uh, you know your own tools or uh, prompts you can share with me i can actually add it to the toolbox and share uh, this with the community yeah i think i'm done yeah Thank you.